this tutorial we're going to talk about taking a Arduino project and moving it to the breadboard. So we're going to build the minimal circuit to run Arduino code on our breadboard. Okay, let's get started. Let's take our standard breadboard and we're going to connect one negative rail to the other negative rail because they're not internally connected. So take a piece of wire like this and connect them. Next we're going to do the same to the positive rails. So connect one to the other with a piece of wire. Alright, so far so good. We're going to take two jumpers and we're going to connect one from the negative rail to this pin here and one from the positive rail to the pin next to it. Next we're going to take the 10 microfarad capacitor. Uh, we're going to find the negative side which is marked by a white stripe and place that side on the negative rail. The other side which is positive will go on the positive rail. Next we're going to take your regulator. This is a 7805. It's got three pins and watch carefully. I'm going to place it right here here. Next we'll take the 100 microfarad capacitor. Once again find the negative side. That's going to go to the middle pin of your regulator. The other side will go to pin 1 of the regulator or the pin directly to the left of it. Now we're going to take your diode. This is a 1N4001 diode. Find the white stripe, which is the cathode side, and that's going to go to that pin on your capacitor, and the other side will jump across the board. Now you notice I'm moving them out of the way a little bit because the regulator will get a little hot, so you don't want them touching. Uh, next, take your power jack. On my jack, the uh, sleeve is positive, so I connected a red wire to that. And that's going to go to the leg of the diode. The other side is going to go to your negative power rail. Next, we're going to plug your power adapter into the wall. Take the jack from the adapter and plug it into the socket connected to your breadboard. The circuit is now powered. So now we're going to test the board, make sure it's okay. I've plugged these wires into the probes of my multimeter. So put one into the negative rail, the positive one into the positive rail. And check we're getting 4.9 volts, which is fine. Uh, we're going to do the same thing to the other side, so negative to the negative rail, positive probe to the positive rail, and we're getting about the same thing, so that's great, the circuit works. Okay, first of all, we're going to place the microcontroller chip. This is an 18 mega. 328p, the same chip that comes with the Arduino, and right now I'm pointing to the notch. This notch helps you identify pin 1. So we're going to count 6 pins from the last pin of the regulator, and that's where the notched end of the chip will go. So put it in place and press it in, making sure it firmly seats into the breadboard. Make sure all the pins are in and none are bent out of the way. Next we're going to count to pin 7 and we're going to tie that pin to 5 volts. So take a, a wire, connect it from pin 7 on the microcontroller to the plus 5 voltage rail on your breadboard. 
Now we're going to take a, another wire and connect it to pin 8. So we're going to connect pin 8 to ground. Next we're going to count up to pin 22 on the chip. So starting here that's pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Notice the pins are, are labeled in a counterclockwise direction. So now we're at pin 15, 16, and unfortunately my hand's in the way, but you keep going till you reach pin 22. Now this pin we're going to connect to ground. Now we're going to connect pin 21 which is right beside pin 22. We're going to connect that pin to plus 5 volts. Then we're going to connect pin 20 to plus 5 volts. Next we're going to take the 16 megahertz crystal and attach that to pin 9 and 10 on the microcontroller chip. Now we're going to take a 22 picofarad capacitor and we're going to place that from one side of the crystal to ground. Now we'll take another 22 picofarad capacitor and do the same thing on the other side of the crystal. Now we're going to connect pin 1 of the microcontroller, which is the reset pin, to 5 volts through a 10K resistor. So the resistor will go from pin 1 to 5 volts. And there you go. This is the minimum circuit you need to run Arduino code on a breadboard. Now we're just going to test that everything is working. So we're going to connect an LED to pin 19 of the chip. So first of all we'll take a resistor. This is a 220 ohm resistor and connect one side to pin 19 of the chip and the other side just make sure it's past the end of the chip so it's not actually connected to the microprocessor. Now we'll take a standard LED and if you notice on one side of the LED there's a flat spot. This is the cathode of the LED and that will go to ground. So take that leg, put it to ground and the other side will go to the leg of your 220 ohm resistor. Now we're going to plug in the circuit and if you notice the LED is blinking. Now before I put the microcontroller on the board I actually loaded the blink tutorial program that comes with all Arduinos onto the chip. So you can see the chip is running the code and everything seems to be fine. Now here's an optional step. If you want a push button reset on the chip, take a button and we're going to place it right next to the AT Mega chip. Now on this button, these two pins are the two sides of the switch. Make sure you know which is which. So we're going to connect one side of the switch to ground. Now the other pin of the switch we're going to connect to pin 1 of the microcontroller. So I know you can't see what's going on but you'll have to take my word for it.
And there you go, that small jumper wire is connecting the button to pin one of the microcontroller. Now if we plug the circuit back in, you can see it's running. And if I press the button, you can see the light stops blinking and now we've reset the circuit so it's started the code again. So there you have it, that's really all you need to run Arduino code on a breadboard. In the next video we'll talk about how to actually program the chip while it's on the board. There's a tutorial at my site, notesandvolts.com, so please come by and take a look. And until next time, thanks for watching.